from night owls, man. I love y'all. That's why I'm up late. I took a nap earlier. So, I didn't want to. I never, never want to step on the toes of my teachers. So, that's why I wasn't on today. I didn't want to step on the toes of my teacher, Dr. Naila. Jillian and Taj and the rest of the people at the House of Reawakening Minds. I didn't want to step on their toes, so I wasn't going to be doing these classes while they were teaching. Um, I'm up right now. Me and my brother got into it. I'm assuming airship. I got to leave because his wife is acting crazy. Well, uh, Sharon, that'll be to my morning. Tonight, I'm chilling. Sharon create, created these binders. I created these binders throughout the course of the month of my studies for myself. And then when she made the binders, what's up, Noble? What's up, Miss Young? Rashonda? Uh, y'all up too late. Y'all need to get some rest, kick your feet up. In creating these binders, I didn't know after Sharon did that, that she gave me this idea. religious text. This binder is all, uh, no, no, excuse me. This got to do, yep, with oriental masonry. This binder right here got to do with religious text. And this binder is all lost. Every single law you could think of. How do I nationalize without a temple? Well, first I talked to Shaman Bay, and you know what he did? He said to me, you are national. You are already a national. He said, all you got to do is type in the public form. Send me emails, saying it, you're great. And I did that. And that's when I realized in my heart, I have to be a national first. This paperwork is reality. This nationality is formality. Um, if this is messing up or it's slow or it ain't doing what it's supposed to, y'all give me some uh, mad faces and I move to a different place. So these first writs that I got, first, who seasoned me for the past six months, five months straight, I downloaded 147 uh, video playlists of Taj Tariq Bey. I downloaded MP3s and I listened to him all the time. That's who edified me. Shalomir Bay, that's who edified me. Light, that's who edified me. On their pages, watching their posts, listening to what they teaching and preaching. This man flying all over the United States, helping people, giving the Moors, doing all of this. Light is getting people out of prison, uh, going in, writing writs of habeas corpus, right, uh, fighting for their rights. We got all type of consuls everywhere, doing all type of good for the community, doing this works. So everybody wants to know how to nationalize. First, all you co-intel pro-operatives that are contacting me, telling me you want to fly to my state and meet me personally and do nationalization personally. I'm not going to give you my information and my uh, uh, domicile address so you could come and try to snuff me out. Is you crazy? I'm letting you know right now. Get off my line. Get out this group. Get out of this council. Get out of trying to sabotage the work of the prophet. It's not going to work. It hasn't worked for 105 years. His spirit's going to keep waking people up to get this nationalization work done. Um, here's how I nationalized. These was the old writs from RV Bay. And anybody that wants to wonder where I'm getting my material, it came off of Taj Tariq Bay's flash drive. It was mailed to me from um, the House of Reawakening Minds. So y'all know that I ain't just making this stuff up. These was the original writs I used to nationalize. They still work. They still have the same words on them. The upgraded writs on the flash drive have this new stuff on it. Thank you very much for my illustrious teacher, Taj Tariq Bay, preparing this stuff for us. Now, what did I do? All I did was put my fingerprint right there where the seal is, and I found my two witnesses, and I put my appellation in where I was supposed to, and my wardship name where I was supposed to. After I did that, I mailed them to three places, to three living beings. Everybody that wants to nationalize, I'm helping y'all do that right now. You download these or you get these files from somebody, us, council, in the consular court groups, uh, uh, Shalomir Bay, whoever has them, you get these files and you fill in the proper fields, your name, your wardship name, and uh, you, you mail them to the President of the United States, Donald Trump, the United Secretary General. His name is Antonio Guterres and the governor of the state that you were born in. When you mail them, 
You want to know how to nationalize. If you listen to what I'm saying, this is what I did, and I am a national, a declared national. I mailed them out certified return receipt. And each person that got these receipts, it told me that the living being signed for it. This is a package. I'm doing this for console. I'll give you these binders I've been preparing and all the material in them. You have to contact me personally. I have to hear the vibrations in your voice so I can discern whether the spirit that I'm dealing with is of a noble spirit, is of a noble heart. So with that being said, not only do you get these three binders that I got right here, that one with the laws and the treaties of peace and friendship and all different type of um, material and text. That's the religious. That's the uh, consular curse questionnaire. This binder right here is full of uh, religious texts. Then you have the national writs and affidavits right here. Then you have Black's Law Dictionary. I'm giving everybody that one, nutritional or biology. You need that. It has an index of every single health issue you could ever have, nutritional herbology from Mark Peterson right there. Resource him, try to PDF it. Man, roots and herbs is going to heal your mind and your body and your soul. So that's the Black's Law Dictionary. It costs $800. You can get it. You're beautiful as well, uh, Lori Robson. Six items of cosmogony. I'll send you that too. The Articles of Incorporation right there. That is something that we need. The history of Prophet Noble Jew Ali, 1886 to 1929. I love you very much, Sharon, and that's why I'm posting this. That's your elodial title for your home. You put that elodial title on your home, and you know what happens? They can't come in and exercise powers over owning it. All of you people dealing with mortgages and people are cheating your estate and the sheriff coming to give you a, a writ or a demand to, for you to leave the property. This right here, that a load your permit on your actual home and you don't got to go nowhere. Boy, stop playing with me and my moors that I love. That's a red ink uh, stamp pad. You're going to need one of those so you can ink all of your thumbprint, red print everything. They used to use your thumbprint to put you in jail and, and it's cheat your property. So then you take your thumbprint, you put it on your final piece of paper right there on the seal. You sign your name across after you put your thumbprint in blue. The reason why we do this is because they know it ain't computer generated when you got a fingerprint and a signature over the blue fingerprint. After that, did you view the email I sent you in regards to the jurors, juror answers? Yes, sir. I submitted it to the proper people. They are reviewing it. Once they review it and determine whether or not the answers are sufficient, we will be contacting you about moving forward in the console process and what republic you're in so you can determine, uh, get with them and, and assist. Love up on them. Everyone that's gifted me in the last week, I needed it. I thank you. It has kept me fed. It has kept console going. It's kept the lines up. It has kept the um, Wi-Fi on. All of your support, I greatly appreciate you and the work that you do as well. James Traficon's speech, which we'll be going over probably pretty soon here. Um, there's so much that we could give in council. I deleted all the files in my group except for the na nationalization files. I've been informed by a couple of my council members but that there are um, co-intel pro-operatives pro already in the group as well as on the Facebook page. I'm not going to trust you. I'm not going to trust you with nothing. You got to talk to me. You got to walk with me through life before I just keep on giving you everything that you think you don't want to study for and work for. I spent hours. I went to, I labored in the library. I labored in these books. I labored in this law. I labored in these writs and affidavits. I studied, I studied, I studied. I put my time in. I've given, I've given. So at the end of the day, you're going to have to do the same thing to get right, Jack. I love you. I'll walk through it with you. That's why I'm giving you this information to be able to nationalize. But after that, you got to prove competency as an heir because this world estate has to be governed by competent heirs. Um, you have all the references. James Chalfacon's speech, the Black's Law Dictionary, the six items of cosmogony, the Articles of Incorporation, History of Noble Jew Ali, your building permit, your civil orders, your Zodiac Constitution, the Executor Office, the Name Declaration, the Judicial Proclamation, and all three binders. 
I'm going to talk to counsel and see how much they want to um, put the fee in. Now, Light already said that she was um, encouraged and she's happy that we're asking for uh, gifts and donations for the work that we're doing. Why? Because you see black, Hispanic, Latino, or whatever you want to call yourself, actual Moors, spending all of their monies, all of their FRNs on everything else. All the institutions, all the schools, rescind your contracts, bring your children home. And if you want to teach them something, put them uh, in front of a, a computer with Dr. Naila, House of Re Reawakening Minds every Friday. If, they want to, if you want to teach them, really teach them, not John D. Rockefeller uh, um, Brainwashing Center teach them. If y'all want them to be taught true history, then y'all going to remove them from them schools and uh, remove those contracts. Islam to you, knock, net, knock. Oh, I hope I'm saying you right. Is the H silent? Hit tech? Not now. Hey, man, I, I got to get it right. People used to chop my name up. So, James Traficon speech. Now that y'all have everything, you know what you're getting about this council. You know, and when y'all gift me, that helps me gift the rest of the councils. Mr. Speaker, as we are here now in Chapter 11, members of Congress are official trustees presiding over the greatest reorganization of any bankrupt entity in the world history, the U.S. government. We are setting forth, hopefully, a, a blueprint for our father, for our future. There are some who say it is a coroner's report that will lead to our demise. It is an established fact that the United States federal government has been dissolved by the Emergency Banking Act. March 9th, 1933, 48 Statute 1, Public Law 89 through 719, declared by Roosevelt, being bankrupt and insolvent. House Joint Resolution 192, 73rd Congress, in session June 5th, 1933. Joint Resolution to, to, to suspend the gold standard and abrogate the gold clause, dissolve the sovereignty authority of the United States and the official capacities of all United States governmental officers, offices and officers and departments, and is further evidence that the United States federal government exists today in name only. So that corporate entity that you call government, which are the which are the government, the people are the government, is in name only. It's false. So you think you go to, go to a false entity and get them to behave properly, to honor your codes, to honor whatever you're asking them? You're not going to do it because they false. They only exist in name. That's why we got a new government. That's why consuls involved. That's why consular courts was birthed. Because after 110 years, people is tired, man. So we're going to do the work of the church. We're going to do the work of the schools. We're going to do the work of the temple. We're going to do the work of the synagogues. We're going to do the work of all of that. The receivers of the United States bankruptcy are the international bankers via the United Nations, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. All United States offices, officials, and departments are now operating with a de facto status in name only under emergency war powers. With the constitutional republic form of government now dissolved, the receivers of... The bankruptcy have adopted a new form of government for the United States. This new form of government is known as a democracy. What? So these people just said, hey, we going to overlook the Moors and their republic form of government. And we're going to make a democracy. Demo democracy. Research that word. Please put it in this comment section so everybody understands the definition of democracy. Okay, so the receivers of the United States bankruptcy are the international bankers. Oh, found that now dissolved government for the United States. This new form shall be called a democracy being an established socialist communist order under a new governor for America. This act was instituted and established by transferring and or placing the office of the Secretary of Treasury to that of the governor of the International Monetary Fund. So he's no longer the Secretary of Treasury. He's now the governor of the International Monetary Fund. Okay. 
the office of the Secretary of Treasury to that of the government of the International Monetary Fund. Public Law, page 8, House Joint Resolution 193-55, read in part, the U.S. Secretary of Treasury receives no compensation for representing the United States. Gold and silver, which were such powerful money during the founding of the United States of America. Whose gold? The Moors' gold. Whose silver? The Moors' silver. That the founding fathers declared that only gold and silver coins can be money in America. Since gold and silver coinage were heavy and inconvenient for a lot of transactions, they were stored in banks and a claim check was issued as a money substitute. People traded their coupons as money or currency. Currency is not money, but a money substitute. Redeemable currency must promise to pay a dollar equivalent in gold or silver money. Now, one dollar, one silver dollar equals 27 Federal Reserve notes. So the only way that they can pay you or you can pay them, you have to give them 27 Federal Reserve notes for one silver dollar. That's true currency around here. Not that debt note. Now, um, not money, but a money substitute. Must promise to pay a dollar equivalent in gold or silver. Federal Reserve notes, FRNs, what you slave for, what we work for, what we keep on circulating in our communities, like it means something. Federal Reserve notes, hold on, make no such promises and are not money. A Federal Reserve note is a debt obligation of the Federal United States government, not money. The Federal United States government and the U.S. Congress were not and have never been authorized by the Constitution for the United States of America to issue currency of any kind but only lawful money, gold and silver coinage. So what we going to do if we ain't got no money, no FRN notes? That's what acceptance for value is. That's when you send to the Treasury Department all of your bills and you, you tell them as trustees to the state that they need to pay the debt, discharge it, accept for value, whatever word you want to use. We, who do we talk to? These writs and these affidavits, I'm going to get right back to it. All right. If the Pope gave a civil order in 2014, right, and then he gave Article 44, all wanton violence committed against persons of the invaded country, all destruction of property not commanded by the authorized officers, all robbery, all pillage. Hold on a minute. He's saying this, and then he say, a soldier, officer, or private in the act of committing such violence and disobeying a superior ordering him to abstain from it may be lawfully killed on the spot by such a superior. So if this silver order... The Pope's their superior. And then this belligerent occupation general orders, which is what he said. He said the Grand Army is going to be sitting here operating under general order 100, known as the Lieber Codes. So here's the Lieber Code right here. Here's Article 44 of it. It just told you what you can do. Who going to shoot the person who's beating on your family? Who going to who gonna, uh, 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 eliminate the threat? Well, uh, you answer that question. Somebody stomping your daughter out or your, your, your more sister or your more friend, you just going to stand there and record them when you have authorization from superior officers telling you that you can do what you need to do in order to eliminate the threat. Then you bring these codes and these civil orders and, and whatever else you need to the tribunal or whatever. Hey, I got permission, Jack. You can't touch me. Um, this needs to go to three places. We told you the to three. One more. There's four. Since the Pope owns these jokers and he sent the civil order, you're going to the archdiocese of your region. They don't deal with cities, states, municipalities or anything. You're taking your writs. You're sitting down. You're having politic with the archdiocese of your region. They'll get to the Pope. I got them filed in three different. Um, I, I mailed them to three different uh, Roman Catholic churches and let them know I'm an ab Aboriginal indigenous and y'all got to obey these laws. And there's any uh, encumbrance on my on my activities. I'm coming to see about y'all. Uh, I'm sorry I went on that tangent. Um, it is essential that we comprehend the distinction between real money and paper money substitute. One cannot get rich by accumulating money substitute. One can only get deeper into debt. We the people no longer have any money. Most Americans have not been paid any money. 
for a very long time, perhaps not their entire life. Now do you comprehend why you feel broke? Now do you understand why you are bankrupt along with the rest of the country? Federal Reserve notes are unsigned checks written on a closed account. FRNs are an inflatable paper system designed to create debt through inflation, devaluation of currency. Whenever there is an increase of the supply of a money substitute in the economy without a corresponding increase in the gold and silver backing, inflation occurs. Inflation as is an invisible form of ta taxation that irresponsible governments inflict on their citizens. The Federal Reserve Bank, who controls the supply and movement of FRNs, has everybody fooled. Oh, dang, I'm fooled. That's jacked up. They got me. They hoodwinked me. They pulled the wool over my eyes, man. <laughs> jacked up. They have access to an unlimited supply of FRNs. What? Paying only for the printing cost and what they need. FRNs are nothing more than promissory notes for the U.S. Treasury security. T-bills. A promise to pay the debt to the Federal Reserve notes. What T-bills? T-bonds also. Whose T-bonds? Your T-bonds. How is it your T-bonds? It's your birth certificate. It's your social security number. It's your QCIP number. It's your financial uh, lineage wealth located in the Treasury Department in a monetary form. Whose T-bonds? Your, your marriage uh, certificates, your bank bonds, your children's information, that's your T-bonds. They're operating like they're you in commerce. They use your name for everything. Everything you sign, whenever you take your kid to the doctor, whenever you get medication, whenever your kid's in school, whenever it's all contractual commerce. And they're pretending they're you using your world wealth to do whatever it is they do. Live off the land, living in these nice old houses, got everybody walking around on the streets all homeless. When they got, they're acting like they you. Oh, no, we got to change this thing, Jack, and that's what we're going to do today. There is a fundamental, fundamental difference between paying and discharging a debt. To pay a debt, you must pay with value or substance, i.e., that is, gold, silver, bar barter, or a commodity. With FRNs, you can only discharge a debt. You cannot pay a debt with a debt currency system. You cannot service a debt with a currency that has no backing in value or substance. No contract in common law is power and control to the sovereign power structure that has no interest in money, law, equity, or justice because they have so much wealth already. Man, we, we telling the truth around here in council. Man, all of y'all, I love you dearly. Uh, Charlemagne Bay, if you're still on here, uh, a lot of the councils keep on asking me about getting our own seals. We know the thumbprint works. If we're going to do that, we're going to emboss 3D print our seal, uh, Morris Divine National Seal, um, and then we're going to send them to the councils if they want them. That is per um, your approval, as uh, of course, per your approval. Um, their lust for power and control. Since the inception of central banking, they have controlled the fate of nations. The Federal Reserve System is biased on the canon law. Oh, it's based on the canon law. So research canon law. You're going to understand the Federal Reserve System when you research canon law. And the principles of sovereignty protected in the U.S. Constitution, in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. In fact, the international bankers used a canon law trust as their model adding stock and naming it a joint stock trust the u.s congress has passed a law making it illegal for any legal person to duplicate a joint stock trust in 1873 the federal reserve act was legislated post facto to 1870 although post facto laws are strictly forbidden by the constitution 1.99.3 so what did they just say here First, we have a joint stock trust. Who? Between who? The Moors and the Amity and Commerce. But they took your trust instruments and they're using them to operate in commerce. The U.S. Congress, it illegal for a joint stock trust or a double stock trust. Who is the trust between? The trust, the landowners and the people operating commerce, the trustees. Who are the landowners? Who did they sell America to? The Jesuits. That's the owners of the Joint Stock Trust. 
and the ones who are trustees over it is the United States Service Corporation members. The Federal Reserve System is a sovereign power structure separate and distinct from federal United States government. The Federal Reserve is a maritime lender and or maritime insurance underwriter to the Federal United States operating exclusively under Admiralty and Maritime Law. The lender or underwriter bears the risk and the maritime law compelling specific performance in paying the interest or premiums are the same. Really now. Assets of the debtor can also be hypothecated to pledge something as a security without taking possession of it. As security by the lender or underwriter, the Federal Reserve Act stipulated that the interest on the debt was to be paid in gold. The interest on the debt was to be paid in gold. There was no stipulation in the Federal Reserve Act for ever paying the principal. So whose securities? Your security? Whose landmass? Your landmass? Whose titles? Elodio titles to your home? Whose titles? Your car title? Your marriage certificate? All of your children's information? All of the documents and contractual agreements they opened? When we looked at that UMEI website and seen all those contracts, I got the, I printed out the ones that said I had 2,500 open. And then when I looked again two days ago, it had 325 open. Oh, so they know that the air's operating now. They're closing down the contracts. Yeah, you better. Come on with it. Um, prior to 1913, most Americans owned clear Elodio title to property, free and clear of any liens or mortgages under the Federal Reserve Act in 1913. Hypothecated all property within the Federal United States to the Board of Directors of the Federal Reserve in which the trustees, the stockholders, that's who's getting, whose bonds is on the stock market right now? Yours. Whose wealth is? Yours. Being traded all day long. Held legal title. The U.S. citizen, tenant, franchisee, was registered as a beneficiary of the trust via his or her what? Birth certificate. Come on with it. In 1933, the federal United States hypothecated all of the present and future properties, assets, and labor of their subjects. The 14th Amendment, U.S. citizen to the Federal Reserve System. Who are their subjects? First of all, 14th Amendment citizens. So when you nationalize or when you naturalize under the Republic fold of, uh, fold of government, you are no longer a 14th Amendment citizen. Therefore, they can no longer do this to you. They can no longer hypothecate all of the present and future properties of you, your assets and your labor, of you no longer their subject, the 14th Amendment citizen. That's why we tell you to nationalize. That's why you t tell you to go back to the Republic for the government and naturalize or nat nationalize, either one. If you're a European, naturalize under the Republic Constitution. If you are more, then proclaim your nationality. Come on with it. Proclaim that thing faster than you can qu uh, blink. I'm telling you, do it fast. Because it's drying up. These corporations drying up. You ain't going to go to no grocery stores. There ain't going to be no more food stamps. There ain't going to be no so more social security checks. You ain't going to be going to get no help from none of these um, institutions. Why? Because they freezing up. They money dying out. They losing. It's over for them. That's why the people need to hurry up and figure out a way to take care of themselves. And not be dependent on these institutions. That's why I'm giving you this book right here, this natural nutritional herbology, a reference to guide and herbs. It gives you all the roots and herbs. Why? Because we need to figure out another system. It's dying. UMEI website. I'll get that website to you. I'll link it to you. It should be in one of the other videos. It shows you the contracts that are open on your social security number. Now, in return, the Federal Reserve System agreed to extend the Federal United States Corporation all the credit money substituted needed like any other credit like any other debtor the federal united states government had to assign collateral and security to their creditors as a condition of the loan since the federal united states didn't have any assets they assigned the private property of their economic slaves the u.s citizen as collateral against the unpayable federal debt they also pledged the unincorporated federal territories, national parks, forests, birth certificates, and nonprofit organizations. Did someone say 501c3 church? Did someone say 501c3, 501c 
C is corporation, three, uh, 501c4, uh, temple, anything. So all of them corporations is pledged by who? By them. So, you know, when you walk into a church and you're giving your Federal Reserve notes that don't mean nothing to the church, you're giving it to a pledge. You're pledging. You're, you're giving, you're, you're paying their, their debt. You're paying what they did. Oh, hold on a minute. <clears throat> Let me try to, uh, <clears throat> uh, Miss Vicky, can you hear me better now? Is it getting better? I'm trying to see if this Wi-Fi will do some better. Um, Y'all give me one sec. I'm going to try to do this Wi-Fi. Um, it could be your computer. Can I get some thumbs if y'all can hear me clearly? Um, some hearts or something. Okay, okay, okay. Um, U.S. citizens as collateral against the unpayable federal debt. They also pledge the unincorporated federal territories, national parks, forests, birth certificates, and nonprofit organizations as collateral against the federal debt. At all has already been transferred. Listen, all has already been transferred payment to the international bankers. Unwittingly, America has returned to its pre-American revolution, feudal roots, whereby all land is neat held by a sovereign and the common people had no rights to hold a lodio title to property once again we the people are the tenants and sharecroppers renting our own property from a sovereign in the guise of the federal reserve bank we the people have exchanged one master for another this has been going on for over 80 years without the informed knowledge of the american people without a voice protesting loud enough now it's easy to grasp why America is fundamentally bankrupt. Why don't more people own their properties outright? Why are 90% of Americans mortgaged to the hilt and have little or no assets after all debts and liabilities have been paid? Why does it feel like you are working harder and harder and getting less and less? We are reaping what has been sown and the results of our harvest is a painful bankruptcy. Yeah, it's a painful bankruptcy. And a foreclosure on American property, precious liberties in a, in, a, in a way of life. Few of our elected... Where's my last page at? Oh, doggy. Hold on a minute. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know where my... Few of our elected. One, two, three. Dang. Well, look, I'm going to find the rest of my pages that I thought I had, but I don't. And I'm going to get back to y'all. Um, Please inbox me because I will no longer be communicating as much um, as I have been with people. I have to protect the people and I have to protect myself. Please inbox me. Uh, supporting counsel for a way to support Consular of Courts. And if you want the package, the binders, I got the idea from Sharon. I'll create the binders for you and we will barter, contractually barter. You know, I know everybody doesn't have as much as uh, some people. So uh, we'll determine, a, de a, determine a, a good wage for all of this material. I love you very much and it's one o'clock in the morning. Hey, we partying in this thing, boy. Y'all chilling. Y'all got me. Y'all got me on teach mode right now. Y'all kicking it with me. It's like one thirty in the morning. Look, hey, I love y'all. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow morning. Peace and love to you.